Hi guys, welcome to Will and Rots. I'm Leslie, and I like to make things. This time I made a whimsical fantasy forest diorama. Say that fast. I made a whimsical. <laughs> this time I made a whimsical fantasy forest diorama. This was my favorite project to date. I had so much fun making this and I wanted to keep going. So it was really hard to stop and say it's done. I can't wait to show you guys. It's, it's so much fun. I love it. This was so fun to make and I'm so excited to show you guys the process. Check it out. I'm starting with a simple tree sketch. I then outline my tree sketch in a dark pen so I can upload it easy to my computer, trace that sketch on my computer. Then I'm taking a variety of my tree sketches, moving them around, placing them where I want them to be and different layers. I'm starting with the first layer, which is going to be black in a second here. That will be my background layer, and then I'm adding the next layers. So that's why I'm using a different color, so you see the different layers. I'm grabbing my fairy house that I made from a previous project, just because I like the same kind of look. Getting the layout of where I want everything to be. And now we're on to painting the background. I am using a mixture of blues, whites, some yellows, and green. I want a sunset look in the background of my diorama. All right, here are the wood pieces that I previously designed on my computer, and I then I cut those layers out on my laser cutter using 1 8 birch wood. I am painting my background layer of trees black. All right, let's start with our clay. I am using DOS brand clay, it's air drying clay, and I'm going to form the clay to the wood pieces to give the texture of trees. Here I am getting a little ahead of myself painting some black. I wanted to test to see if it was going to look what I was envisioning in my head. Here I am working on that bark texture, taking a little bit of squiggly little pieces, shaping them to form the bark of the trees. I am now painting the this layer of trees, a mixture of blacks and browns. So now I decided that the back layer needs a little bit of texture because all the other parts have texture to them. I'm just using a little bit of tissue paper and some glue mixed with black paint. This is a super easy way to add texture. I wanna see how everything looks layered together. It's looking pretty good. Now it's time to add clay to the tree in the foreground, as well as the mushroom house.
Time to add some more paint using, again, the black and brown to give it the different colors of the wood bark. Time to paint the mushrooms. I'm using red for the mushroom cap and like a peachy, browny, white colors for the underneath part of the mushroom, whatever that part is called, the base of the mushroom. Add in my windows that I cut on my laser cutter. And texturizing the house using my shaping tool and adding the doorway in. I made a box using my laser cutter and then I'm adding some LED lights for the background sunset as well as the lights in the windows. Testing it out, seeing if everything is going according to plan and it seems to be working. Here I am just building up the foreground using tin foil and more clay. Adding some little mushroom steps for the house. Back to painting all the mushroom caps. I painted all the foreground, some greens and browns. You're not gonna see this because I'm gonna cover it in moss and faux greenery, but just in case, I didn't want the wood peeking through. I'm adding some highlights to the trees with a dry brush of light brown. Adding my little wooden door. Now the forest needs a few little mushrooms, so I'm adding a little mushrooms everywhere. Time to add the greenery. I'm adding a little glue, tacky glue, and then I'm adding moss to the foreground. A little sticky, a little tricky to work with, but we're getting there. Just adding some details to the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. 
to add my greenery, I'm using fluorofoam, tacky glue, a little bit of paint to hide the floral foam a little bit, and then I'm sticking the greenery right to that. Now I made some little wooden flowers, cut them from my laser cutter, and I'm painting them and adding them to the scenery. Adding my last little details, and we're almost done. I love it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, ring that bell, hit the like, share with your friends, all the stuff. If you'd like to see more of these dioramas, please let me know. See you guys next time.